IL-2. Fictional airstrike. July 1943. The RA conducts a pre-invasion strike on the island fortress of Malta where the British are preparing an invasion fleet. So we'll be flying RO-57 twin-engine fighters for the Italian Air Force. And I flew these in a mission as opponents, and they were really hard to keep up with. So I thought I'd try them out. So there we go. We've located our target, a Royal Navy transport, and we're throttling back. And diving in for a bomb drop. This plane has a sweet little bomb site target underneath the gun sight, and we just laid one on. Target hit! So this plane is a pretty decent dive bomber, and I really like that secondary sight. As you pitch downward, the gun sight rises up and exposes the bomb sight. Pretty cool. The clock is pretty heavy. Dings. So we're going to send in our wingmen, given wingmen commands to attack ships. And it looks like we've inflicted a lot of damage on the invasion ships. Designating targets, sending our wingmen in. Looks like we lost one of our wingmen to AAA. But the BDA looks good. A lot of damage caused on that first bomb drop. And we're flying high cover. We notice some enemy air activity. The element Attention. of surprise is over. And the SAAF, South African Air Force, sends up two hurricanes from Squadron 40. So we're in and we got a passing hit. We've got to take this fighter out quick because his wingman is turning in on us. Splash one fighter, and sure enough, his wingman's right on us. We're turning in high, hard and putting our flaps down so we can make a tight turn. The enemy plane overshoots us. We're going to line up our gun sight, and we scored a passing hit. So we're following up the attack. And this plane is amazingly maneuverable for a twin-engine fighter.
staying offensive. And we got a catastrophic hit. Splash Hurricane number two. And I have to say, this plane handles very well for a twin engine fighter. And I think it's because of its profile. It's a lot smaller. It's like a single seat fighter with two engines as opposed to the larger BF-110s. Just handles a lot better. Doesn't float around like a P-38. We're still dealing with heavy flak activity. We're going to head out. We're going to line up a gunshot on the remaining vessels in the port. So here we go. Lining up on a transport. And we can see some hits to the side hull. So guys, we're going to have to give this victory to the RO-57 twin-engine fighter. Thanks for watching.